magic ingredient for making biogas comes from cows or from pigs or from the bottom of a mucky pond that doesn't turn over, meaning it doesn't aerate. What we're looking for are methanogens. They are single-celled microorganisms that are ultimately responsible for producing the methane that we want to make with our biogas digester. All right, here we are at Ben's farm. There's Ben. Is that my cow poop or is that something yeah. else? Milk, actually. Let's take a look at that. Now that's what real milk looks like, but we're after the other end of the cow. <laughs> How'd that happen? How'd you do that? So Ben, who are your cows? So this is Minnie. She's a Highland Jersey cross, and this is her. She, she's what's called the first calf heifer, so she had her first calf ever this spring. And that's her first calf right there, a little heifer we call M2 for Mini 2. So how do I tell fresh poop from old poop? Well, one good sign is um, certainly the, the consistency and the, consistency, the texture of it, right? See how soft and kind of silky this is? That thing's no oh, more yeah. than an hour old. Oh, yeah, nice. that's, a, that's a young piece of shit there. Um, Cows. Thank yeah. you, Minnie. Yeah. We appreciate your methanogens. She's so happy to donate to the cause. You need some salt. You're licking me. Huh? And some compost. So we're going to mix all this together and make some slurry. Okay, here's the outdoor sink area. And we've got our food grinder So here's our mix of water and food scraps and then at the very bottom is uh, Minnie's cow poop and I'll just give this a mix and we're going to add some more water to that and this is a good 50% slurry but we'll fill it up to about two thirds or three quarters with water and leave some space because this goo will expand as it ferments and we don't want it to pop out of our gas outlet. Yum. Notice I've got some nice heavy duty nitrile gloves. These are great, you gotta get a pair. Okay, now we're ready to put our lid on. Seal that down nice and tightly. Give it one last air test by blowing into the hose and make sure everything's airtight. And then we'll try to keep it warm for a week or so and see if we get any gas. The last thing I'm going to do with this project is to wrap some insulation around the five gallon bucket and that's a nice white bucket but it's going to reflect a lot of the sunlight and i'm relying on solar energy to uh, heat our digestate and so this is actually made for beehive for wrapping beehives and a little insulation value but mostly it's black and it will absorb the sunlight. If you find that you need to keep the digester a little bit warmer try to find one of these wraparound battery heaters. They work great and they're fairly low wattage but you do have to keep an eye on overheating because they don't have a thermostat in them normally. Here's the Bunsen burner that we'll use to test the biogas. The orifice has been drilled out to about twice the original size. 
This is a basic overview, a schematic diagram of the bucket digester. And finally, after about 10 days, we got a little bit of flammable gas. Never burn the first balloon full or two of, of gas. That's all carbon dioxide, and it's not going to burn. For more details, parts lists, recipe development, all the information that you would ever want to know to get started at least on making your own biogas, you can find in the Homeowner's Energy Handbook. Thanks for watching.